firearms is going to be held soon. All right, this course will teach women the very basics of handguns, such as safety handling. Jimmy Hayes is live in the newsroom this morning, and you spoke with the Nevada Firearms Coalition on why they decided to create this class for women. Jamie? Yeah, that's exactly right. The Nevada Firearms Coalition wants to create a fun and safe space for women who may or may not have shot a gun before. Now, some things they will be teaching is how to safely load and unload a firearm and how to safely store it. That includes providing child firearm locks and how to have a conversation with your family on firearms. Now, they are not trying to get women to go out and buy a gun, but to see if having a gun is the right thing for them. And you'll at least get a feel for, is this what I want to do? And uh, for some, some women, they might not want to ever pick up a gun again. Again, they'll go buy a taser. And with the recent events, such as the Vegas and now the shooting at Texas, Nevada Firearm Coalition understands that the topic of gun safety and gun control are at the forefront of discussion. But they say having those discussions is just as important as knowing how to safely handle a gun. So how, how you get that gun really does matter, and who is buying guns is what really matters. This Firearms 101 for Women will be held this Saturday at the Carson City Gun Range located off Highway 50, just east of Carson at 4000 Flint Road. It starts at 9 a.m. and they anticipate it going until noon. Now you are going to want to RSVP for this and you can check out our web story on ktbn.com to figure out how you can RSVP for this event. And you do not have to bring anything with you. Covering the story, Jamie Hayes, Channel 2 News. Actually, women are like the biggest growing uh, buyers of guns uh, the past couple of years. They used to be kind of stereotyped. They'd have, they'd have these guns with like in pink. Yes, that was very common. Yeah, decorated and yeah. Decorated. Yeah, yeah. All right, coming up on Channel 2 News uh, this morning on your Tuesday.